just enjoy yourselves. Okay. Hi everyone. Okay, so nice to meet all of you. So my name is Wayne. I'm coming from Onshape. So today basically I'm not trying to actually sell you any product or anything. So okay, because uh, I know this is actually a community for makers. So I would like to actually share the ideas, okay, about our company, why our founder created this thing to all of you, okay, on shape. So we claim it as a future of hat, okay, why? There's a reason, okay, so let me show you something first. Hey, this is Tom. Designers, engineers, we build the future, and we've been successful. The world has changed a lot. Our design process has evolved along with it. Today, we're teams of specialists, brought together by our talent more than our geography, working together to create products in different time zones. And yet, while we've evolved, our tools have stayed the same. We waste too much time managing our software, spending money on new versions, updating expensive licenses, wasting resources that could be turned into better work. A traditional CAD gets in the way when it should empower us. Remember when CAD was fun? Let's reinvent CAD with a clean sheet of paper. Let's make CAD work for us again. Imagine a new generation of CAD that works the way we do. CAD in the cloud, available on your tablet, on your phone, wherever and whenever inspiration strikes. CAD that brings teams together to create work greater than the sum of its parts. A flexible solution that always fits your bottom line, even as your team changes shape. A solution that automatically updates itself to reflect the state of the art seamlessly every time you log on. A CAD built by pros for pros from a team with CAD's blood. The world deserves a new generation of CAD. Introducing on shape. Welcome to the future of CAD. Okay. So Basically, just now is just a pure introduction about Onshape, okay? A uh, managed pesto from our company. So, do all of you familiar with CAT? So, what exactly is CAT? So, CAT is actually called Computer Aided um, Design, okay? So, it helps you to create 3D models or 2D, 2D drawings, right? But CAD is basically the tools that we use to create all these kind of products. So, we need from the machine that help us okay, to do the prototyping, okay, to do the FDM depositions, okay, and to build the table, to cut the wood. All these things are the products okay, that starting from CAD. <coughs> so, just like I also mentioned, okay, in 1950, People, when the computer just actually started, people already looking into 2D CAD. They're trying to use the computer to design CAD. And in 1980s, okay, AutoCAD actually launched their first product okay, on DOS PC and actually sold it to the commercial, okay, to the users okay, who like to use 2D CAD. So since then, people start designing the CAD not only on paper, okay, not drawing their design on paper, but on PC. So that is actually the static era of our CAD industry. In the late 80s, okay, TDC came up with this idea. I want it to be more, uh, so what, uh, how to say? I want to actually see the 3D models instead of just 2D. Because by using 2D drawings, okay, you need to actually use your brain to visualize some things. That's very hard for some people, okay? If you are not familiar with, uh, uh, interpret the 2D drawing. So in late 80s, PDC came out with this 3D CAD system that worked on a very expensive, uh, expensive workstations. So that is the era where 3D CAD okay, start actually built into our life. In the mid 90, uh, 90s, okay, in 1995, this company okay, called SolidWorks. There's a bunch of engineers that would like to let every engineer okay, to have the ability to design 3D models in their home PC. Why? Because PDC, when they design their pro engineer, you need to have a very expensive workstation to run the CAD system. So in 90s, 
when IBM computer okay start actually uh, selling their personal PCs. So this bunch of engineers came up with the idea. I want all these PC to be able to run 3 d -CAD. So that's why they came up with this software called Solus. So it's the first 3 d -CAD to be able to run on PC. But since then, there's no more invention for CAD system. Why I say invention or improvement, okay? They can claim they have a lot of improvement, okay? To improve the functionality, the features, but the behavior, the user, how to use the 3 d CAD system never changed since then. But there's a problem for it now, okay? Why? The way that people start designing the things, okay, is different. The design paradigm has shifted, okay? Due to a lot of reasons, okay, one can be the technology improvement, where people start actually getting to know about the internet, okay, they want their product to be designed faster, they want their product to be cheaper. So all this demand actually make the design paradigm shift into a different way. So in in the olden days, okay, people tend to actually design their own thing, then they fabricate their own stuff and make it into a product and sell it. But now we are not doing that. Why? We need a lot of effort from different people, like the makers here. Why you all are here? Because you would like to actually get some knowledge. Okay, you would like to find out whether uh, someone else has different kind of ideas. Okay, that can help me build a better product, right? So that is what we call distributed design. Okay, where you share the workload. Okay, to different kind of experts. Okay, within different regions. So. Based on this, okay, you can see the new design team paradigm have been changes. It's become very complicated. So when this thing happened, okay, you can see that right now all the big companies, okay, like this one is actually a Boeing, okay, they actually share their design globally. Okay, they are not designed and built their plan within one single place, one single factory. They actually share it. Okay, they they want the head, okay, the the fuel sledge okay to be done maybe within France okay while the engine is actually maybe now built in Singapore so all these things actually make it very complicated why because of communication the collaboration you want to make sure everyone get the right info at the right time but is it that easy to get the right information at the right time and to be able to produce a better product. It's not that easy, even for a small company. I believe all of you are familiar with this. This is actually a snapshot from a Kickstarter. Okay, you all should know what is that. Okay, it's actually a 3D printer. Okay, done by Foam Lab. This is the uh, Foam 1 uh, 3D printer that they actually put on the Kickstarter. You see that even this small company, a startup company, they also distribute their design in different areas from Boston, Montreal, and London. So all these guys, okay, they are actually coming from different places. So how they communicate their design? They use email, maybe, but can we make it better? Can we make it more efficient and more error prone? That is our model. So, Let's take a look, okay? This is another customer, okay, from Onshape. Now that there's that massive okay. force as soon as everything comes to a stop or refreezes, trapped in this white coffin. The sad truth is that about 50% of people die if they are buried in that lunch. Package SDA is anything that's not in a resort. It's really kind of where you get a chance to get away, complete freedom to go wherever you want. What we're trying to do is find a way to start understanding the snow before we get into risky situations. And that's where we got started. My name is Andrew Bennett. I'm a mechanical engineer at Habitat. I work really closely with Jen. I'm a co-founder and product designer at Habitat. The SP1 is the first proactive avalanche safety tool that's kind. Essentially, it's a steeple handle with a screen on it. And as you jam this thing through the snow, it's designed to help professionals measure snow structure and other important factors related to avalanches. I 
based in Utah, I'm based in Boston, and yet we still have to be able to work together on, on problems. Really good about country. You came in, just do your testing with that. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll follow you right now. Just immediately tell them a little bit. Where you can do it on the same thing at the same time, look at them all together, talk about what, what he's done, and quickly iterate. Speed is really key in iterating, coming up with new designs as fast as possible. At Avatar, we really value the designs move a lot faster when you can communicate with people. Anshay really feels like the next generation of what CAD should be. It just feels right. So basically, okay, just now that video is actually an on-shake customer. They became our customer when we are actually still running our beta program. So they are actually a startup company. They are not that big. They are trying to build this uh, device, okay, to detect the electricity, okay, on the model. So just now, do you hear that? Okay, they actually mentioned that. I would like to actually um, the functionality that they use okay is actually to be able to communicate with two of them at different places. They can walk on the cat okay at the same time. Okay? They don't need to really worry about okay, I need to send you a file, okay, or maybe I need to put my do uh, cat document onto Dropbox, okay, or FTP site, so you need to go and download. Or maybe I can only send you a PDF file to see the 3D models. But this is a full working CAD environment where two of them can work at the same time. Okay? So we want the customer to have this kind of experience where all the traditional CAD they couldn't do it at all. Okay? Even right now there are some they claim that they are actually a cloud CAD system as well. But they are not, they are hybrid. Okay? When you ask them to do this kind of collaboration, when later on I'm going to show you, okay, you can see I bring my iPad Pro, I have my MacBook, I'm going to show you I can make two of them work at the same time. And even my colleague at the back, her MacBook Pro is actually at the back, she can also connect to it. So later on, okay, I would like you to actually try out. You do have your mobile or maybe your tablet, right? You just download this app called OwnShare. Okay, from the Play Store or from the iOS Store, okay, I already actually share some of the documents okay to the emails okay that just now we fill out the form. So we already share some documents to all of you. So later on, I'm going to show it to all of you that we can actually collaborate or communicate just through the cat itself without any other software. Okay. So that's why these two factors, okay, where people want to have better product to be designed in a shorter time frame and they want to have better innovation. So with the distributed product design paradigm shift, okay, and right now we also find out that the technology is also improved that we could use the cloud, we could use the power of the internet to actually form and actually uh, fulfill this requirement now by building our software on ship on the cloud. So that's why on ship is actually being founded in 2012 in Cambridge, okay, in Boston. So the founder of on ship is actually the founder of SolidWorks. Just like I mentioned in 1995, there's a bunch of engineers, okay, they actually try to bring the CAD system into a personal computer. So these are the bunch of engineers. They came out again and tried to build this CAD. Why? They know that there's a problem okay, on the traditional CAD system. So and we are able to gather 100 million of venture capitals within these three years of startup company, okay, be able to gather this kind of venture capital. Why? It's not because we are that good, okay? It's because we need to have a very strong fund, okay, to make sure this will success and help the future of the, uh, to help the future engineers. 
to make sure that this can be a successful product to benefit every end user. So this is actually those guys, okay, who founded SolarWorks. So the main guy at the center, okay, John Hurstick, our founder and chairman, is the one who actually came up with the idea of SolarWorks together with uh, John um, McElhenney, okay, on the far left, okay. Two of them and this team of people, there are seven of them actually within this. They are the founders of SolarWorks and now they came up and set up on shape. When they actually start out SolarWorks, the first motto that they have is they want to make sure everyone to be able to use CAD on their personal computer. But now, when they set out on shape, they want it bigger. They want every engineer to be able to access to their CAD anywhere, any place, anytime. Okay? So, sorry, I'm a, a little bit nagging. Okay, so. Basically, what are the problems about traditional CAD? Okay, it gives a lot of problems. I used to actually be a SOLIDWORKS restyler for many years before I joined Onshade. So I handle a lot of problems okay, from all the SOLIDWORKS users. I've been a pro user since uh, 2000, year 2000. And then after that, in 2004, I started learning SOLIDWORKS and later on become a SOLIDWORKS restyler. So a lot of customers actually complain to me when? How come the software okay, cannot open a newer version of the soft, uh, CAD file? Okay, so that is one of the problems. When? My PC crashed, I couldn't get my CAD file. When? How come you need one day to update my PC okay, to the latest version of SOLIDWORKS? So those are the problems. And not only that, when? My vendor is getting an old file from me, but he don't know whether this is the latest one or the older one. How should I find out? So this actually gives engineers a lot of problem on trying to fix the CAD issue instead of focus their time on design. When you are a maker, what you want? You want to design something in your mind that you dream of, right? So you spend more, most of the time to do research, okay, find out a better way, and then you go and execute it. But if something happens, tell you, oh, your system cannot work, you need to fix it, okay, it took you five hours, how do you feel? Is that good? No, right? So that's why we call all this uh, traditional cat uh, glitch, okay? So it's a type of friction, okay, that slow down the design process, okay? and make the engineer not so effective, okay? So currently all the traditional CAD, okay, be it those big big names or small names, okay, there are a lot of uh, CAD system in the market. Most of them, they need to actually install onto the PC, okay? First of all, they also require you to have a very good hardware, and then you need to download, install, okay, and then they only have the updates on yearly basis. So right now, Onshade is the only CAD software I can actually claim that, okay? We are the only one that came out updates every three weeks or every month, okay? And you don't need to spend time to do the update, okay? You just log in and the update is there. Just like in this morning, when I actually come to my work, when I log into Onshade, it's actually a latest version that I have compared to yesterday. Why? Because last night, US actually just released a new update. And then I get a lot of new improvement. Okay, some is actually performance improvement. That's how I heard that someone said, we tried on shape. But remember, we are keep on improving. We are just a startup. Okay, we are trying to make sure that we get the feedback from users. That's why I want all of you to go and try and register on shape and use it and feedback and let us know how we can improve, okay? So with all this problem, you see, the traditional cat, they are still using the, sorry? I guess? Definitely, okay? No one can guarantee that, okay, they can produce something without any bugs, okay? They can produce a software without any bugs. Even those big companies, okay, even Apple's, 
Okay, even Microsoft, okay, definitely there will be bugs. That's why we need your feedback. We need the user feedback. So we have this very strong community, okay, to always find out these issues and report. And then that's why just now I also mentioned our updates come in every three weeks or a month. Why? Because we can fix the bug in a shorter time frame. Instead of asking you, okay, maybe you just wait, okay, try the work around and please start on it for one more year so that you can have the latest version to solve the problem. Okay, but we are not doing that. Okay, we are trying to gather and try to actually fix it, okay, within the shortest time frame, maybe three weeks, maybe one month, maybe two months, but not a year. Okay? Because if you want to do it as a part time or a time design. Uh, it won't. Okay, so so far, okay, we actually start our early beta. Okay, since uh, last year February, and then we have also our uh, closed beta. Okay, since actually uh, late 2014. Since then, we actually do a lot of updates. Okay, so right now, uh, today, last night, is actually the update of 43. Okay, so for the past two and a half years, okay, we have a lot of updates, and then the downtime of us. Okay, it's actually less than one percent. Okay, so if you actually now install a software onto your PC, can you guarantee it to have only one percent of downtime? I don't think so. Why? Because there are a lot of complication, be it from the hardware, be it from the operating system, the drivers. Okay, all those things. Okay, for us. The cloud does all the things. I can serve it, I can actually log in through tablet. If my tablet runs out of battery, I go to my MacBook. If my MacBook doesn't work, I can go back to my PC and start logging. I still can work. Right? So what is the downtime? Oh. As for the files, okay, when we do the update, definitely they might have some uh, what we call the uh, recurring issues okay sometimes you fix a bug it might come out with another bug okay so this one we can't predict okay but when the user use it we can definitely they will report and then we'll be able to fix it right so let me carry on okay so why I actually give you this graph okay basically the traditional cat we are all they are all using file based system so all of you familiar with files because every day you are handling files. What kind of files? Words document, PowerPoint, PDF, all these things. And then not only that, video file, JPEG, image, okay? Cat file also. Okay? So that means every day you are actually spending time managing all this. And when you actually create cat files, okay, within the traditional cat system. You need to actually communicate with other what you do. You email to them, you send it through FTP, okay? And if the file size is too big, you can't send it through email. So what you do? Maybe you save it into a thumb drive, into a DVD, and mail it to them. Is that effective? No, right? So people come up with some idea. Okay, right now we have Google Dropbox, okay, all this kind of cloud storage, okay? So what people do is, okay, I put my cat file onto cloud storage, okay, like Google Drive, okay, Dropbox, so that they're actually sharing the file, okay, they feel that it's effective, okay, but it's not really effective, why? They're actually making a lot of copies. <laughs> so people are having a lot of concern about cloud nowadays, okay, people will first talk kind to your mind. People will ask me, Wait, how is not safe? It's not secure. Right? But I can tell you that is not the truth. Okay? How is actually much secure compared to your traditional method on storing your files. Why? You don't believe Amazon can do a better security than your own antivirus scanning, all these kind of things? Definitely cloud is better. Because when you see, when you do all this activity, how many copies that you have done? Okay, when you send a file to your vendor, to your makers, okay, fabricators, can you control them not spreading out the files to others? You can't, you couldn't. Once you say it to them, they have the rights to do anything. 
right? They can throw it into the dustbin, they can actually share it with their friends, okay? So if you want to have your intellectual property to be protected, this is not the right way, definitely, okay? So that's why now I want to show you this video talk about the collaboration. Were never built with collaboration in mind. So users have gotten used to following the same laborious and frustrating process of sending copies of CAD files back and forth over and over again when sharing the models with others. If you take a step back, you'll be surprised at just how much time is wasted with this one single activity. The first step in sharing your model with traditional CAD is sending a copy of the CAD file. Typically, this is done by attaching the copy of the CAD file to an email and sending it, unless the CAD file exceeds your attachment size limits. If the file is too big, then you'll need to sign up for a cloud storage service and upload the file first. After the files attached or uploaded and sent, you've lost complete control. Your supplier could be machining an outdated version of your design, or worse, it could be copied and shared without your permission, putting your intellectual property at risk. After your file is received, the person you're sharing with has a number of questions to ask. Do I have the right software installed? Is it the right version? If not, they'll need to download and install software just to view your file. So after dealing with email attachment, file size restrictions, incorrect versions of CAD software, and being forced to download and install more software, your collaborator is finally able to open your file. Because you and your collaborator are now working on two separate copies of the file, you cannot see changes made in design until the person you're working with emails their copy of the file back to you. You can download the attachment and open it to see the changes and hope those changes don't conflict with changes you've made. To say this process can use improvement is a huge understatement. And yet, engineers using traditional file-based CAD systems are forced to deal with it every day. With OnChain, collaboration capabilities are built in. To share your document, simply click Share and type in their email address. To find their permissions, and click the Share icon. That person is then given instant access to your design. No installing software or dealing with version compatibility. You and the person you've shared with can work together in real time on the same model. With visual cues indicating the work being done by either user. You can even chat with the person you've shared with with integrated comment capabilities. And see their screen in real time using follow mode. And unlike sending CAD files as email attachments, with OnShape, you remain in control of your data throughout the entire process and can remove permission to your document at any time. The next time you want to collaborate, try OnShape. You'll be amazed how easy it is. Start your future projects in OnShape and you'll never collaborate with email again. So just now, okay, in the video, okay, you show something okay, about the collaboration. So have you all actually tried uh, log in to the OnShape? Okay, or have you registered the OnShape account? Yeah. So maybe I would like to actually share with you okay, a file. Okay? I'd like to show you some of the collaboration functionality okay, within OnShape. So basically, this is uh, OnShape. Okay, so let me try log in. Okay. So you can see it's actually run on the browser, web browsers. So you can actually use any PC, any Mac, and even run on Linux, Chromebook, okay? It doesn't matter what kind of hardware that you have, okay? Be it a supercomputer, okay, or Chromebook, you can run a 3D cat, okay? Just log it, okay? So let me try to actually open up this file. I'd like to show you, okay? So right now, I'm trying to open this in my computer. And then at the same time, I have my Mac, uh, iPad Pro. I can show you how easily okay, I can actually access to the same files okay, at the same time. So I know that right now there are two people actually viewing on this file, this document right now. Okay? So if I want to make any changes on this, instantly, it will appear over here. Okay? Anyway. 
So if let's say now you log into your email, okay. If let's say you like to use a uh, Onshape, you like to try out, let me know. I can actually uh, you can register, you can log in instantly within minutes, and then I can share the model with you, and you can see the changes. So now besides the changes, okay, let me show you one more thing. It's what we call a follow me mode. Okay, so this is very good for collaboration when talking about the design review. So we click on let's say this okay. So I'm now trying to follow Wayne. Okay, so if let's say I'm moving my screen over here, do you see that? It just go. Okay, so you can actually share your design instantly with anyone. And you can see we have turned the things, the other one will move. If I make some changes, okay, some of you may say, okay, just rotate, okay, nothing special. Okay, don't worry. Let's say I start modeling from here, make some design change from here. So let me follow this, okay? So I'm now trying to follow this iPad Pro. I try to actually make some design change, okay? Maybe I would like to make some extrusion, okay, to create some um, features there. So what I'll do is uh, basically I try or maybe I can show it from here so that you can see This is actually my iPad Pro and then this is the screen. I like to show you, okay, if now I try to actually make some extrusion. make some changes on my iPad Pro, okay, and instantly on the PC itself. It's a software to learn, right? You see that all are, all are, uh, here are all the SolidWorks basic knowledge, uh, right? Okay, no, okay, basically I'm just trying to show you some of the functionality mm -hmm. first, okay, I'm not going to conduct any training, okay. okay. First, the thing is that the logic is the software, is it myself, where we have to learn now? Uh. Yeah. Same as a solution or, 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 or okay. distribution or anything? Yes, okay. I, I can say it's not totally same, okay, but the idea behind is the same, okay. It's a parametric 3D CAD system, okay, where you can actually build features, okay, you can actually know um, the way that how you build it, okay, and then you can actually use it for manufacturing purposes, okay, so you can even do simulation analysis, FEA analysis, you can actually use our partner apps, okay, to do your CAM G-code programming, okay, we also have some partner apps, okay, that help you to direct save it, okay, into the SDL slices uh, G-code, okay, so that will be actually very helpful for all of you, okay, it's not only for professional use, okay, for makers, okay, I know that you all might need to have laser cut profiles, okay, so what are the G codes? Okay, so that's why we have a lot of partners. So we will generate its own G code or we can input it into different sliders? Yes, you can also export the geometry, okay, as an STL file, okay, because basically most of the slicers they use STL files, right? Point shape can export the geometry into STL format, okay? So you can actually use the STL format to put it into your own slicers, okay, and then print it on your own, right? No. Yeah. 
So we are not going to have an offline version, okay? Until this point of time, okay? Definitely, we are not going to do that, okay? That's uh, actually uh, uh, things that come from my CEO. Why? We are making use of the power of the cloud, okay? Just now you see the collaboration, okay? You see, we try to minimize the problem, okay, on the hardware. We try to minimize the issues, okay, that come from the operating system. They come from the file base, okay, the copies of files, all these kind of things. That's what we build on chain. And that is actually based on the power of the cloud. Okay, without the cloud, you can't do all these amazing things. So people will wonder, I mean, what if I go to maybe a forest or, or jungle, I try to do a cat. Are you sure when you're inside a jungle, you still want to do cat design? Not really, right? And Okay, when you talk about airplane, let me tell you some interesting fact, okay? I just actually told my mates, okay? I came back from Boston during uh, January, okay? So when my flight, okay, flying back from Boston to here, do you know that I'm able to access to internet, okay, on the plane? With a cost of how much you get? One dollar USD. You don't believe I can show you my bills? The plan is only US airlines and some other country? That is now, but imagine three years ago when I actually fly to US, I heard about this thing, okay? The in flight Wi Fi, okay? But the time I tried to actually use it, but it's not free and not accessible. But now, I'm really able to do it. I can actually run on shit during that time. I can WhatsApp, I can actually watch video on the plane with a cost of just one USD. So imagine maybe next year we can have more flights, okay, that have this thing free. So think about the technology in evolving, okay, it's actually improving our life. So we are the makers, okay, we are the engineers to build the futures, right? If you only think about now, there are a lot of solutions can help you to fulfill your needs for now. But how about the future? Wait, sorry, question. You did the changes, is it documented anywhere? Yeah, so that is a very good question. Why we use cloud, okay? So if let's say now, okay, some people will ask me, when? Okay, so you do all these things, okay? There's a, always a problem when you use traditional cat. You forgot to save your file. Or maybe your file crash. But now I show you one thing. I close it. Did I click save or do anything? No. I close my web browser, okay? But now what I can do? Just open, okay? Really lock in to my cat. Just like I make a change, right? So you worry the change are still there. Let's take a look. Is it documented who made the change? Yes. Okay. So you would like to know who made the change. Okay. When you change it. So all the steps. Okay. That you did. Okay. Can be documented. Okay. And can be version. Okay. Can be actually managed by different version revision. Okay. That means that it came with a built-in what we call product data management system. In a traditional cat, if you want to do that. You need to spend a lot of money. You need to buy a server. You need to pay the license for the product data management system, okay, what we call PDM system or PLM system, to control this kind of behavior, to do revisioning so that you can actually get any version back. But now with OnChip, you can do it right away. You don't need to do any setup, okay? So you don't need to actually set up a server, okay, to store and archive all the data that you have. Okay. Are there any uh, minimum uh, hardware devices? No, just I mentioned, even run on, on a Chromebook. Okay. So for bandwidth requirement, okay, so right now, okay, I can say most of the time, you can see uh, if I run it on 3G or 4G, I still can do it. Okay, so uh, I have people, okay, so let's say, do not believe right now I'm using a Wi-Fi, okay, I can actually lock off. Why I lock it as Wi-Fi, I'll use the Wi-Fi is because I want to use the share screen. 
But if I use a normal 4G, I still able to access to the model and make changes later. Yeah. So so far in Singapore, even I even try in Malaysia. I do. I'm actually a Malaysian. That's why my English is not that good. But I try in Malaysia. Malaysia, their connection is not that good. Their three G and four Gs is actually kind of intermittent. So I try it out, but it works. Okay. Sometimes you okay, might have a little bit of lag, of delay, but it's not really causing a lot of problem. I still can design, and I know that the changes is there. Okay. And then one good thing about all of you here, okay, to use on ship, okay, why? We have a server right in Singapore, okay, in the Amazon, okay, server is actually right in Singapore, okay, and the other one is actually at Sydney, okay, in Australia. So definitely we we'll try to deploy more and more servers, okay, so that the ping time between the users and the server can be actually short. What's important thing? Is it free version? You always support more than a free version, subscription or what? Okay, so on ship, okay, we are actually running what we call a premium, okay, SaaS service, okay, uh, sell as a service, okay. So what I call premium, okay, definitely everyone is allowed to register as a free users, okay. You can use it, okay. You have the full functionality that I showed you just now, okay, you can do the collaboration, you can share the document, you can do revision control for free, okay? Same like a paid users. So what are the difference between a paid users and a free users, okay? So let me show you this. So there are actually three different kind of uh, users. The first one is the free users. All of you can actually consider about this thing. Okay, just sign up. Okay, don't worry. You can instantly use it. Okay, to create your documents. We call it documents in Onshape because there are no files. Basically, everything is just data. So you can actually store either private documents or public do documents. So when you want it to be private, means that you want to protect your design. Okay, you want to keep it for your own. So there's some limitations. This is sing dollar US. This is sing uh, USD. Sorry. US. Uh. Yeah. Not sing. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Almost made a mistake. Okay. So this is USD. Okay. We only have one price. Okay. Worldwide. So most of the traditional CAD system. Okay. If you're aware about them. Okay. In US is definitely the cheapest. In Europe maybe expensive a little bit due to the tax. In Singapore, maybe a little bit expensive. Okay, depends on what kind of CAD system that you bought. Okay, so their startup cost is very expensive. Okay, you need to buy their license, and then you need to pay the maintenance fees. Okay, for ownership, we don't do that. We just use it. Okay, as a free users, with a limitation of private documents, either up to ten private documents, or not more than hundred megabyte of storage. Okay, within the private document. And for the public documents, okay, you can actually have unlimited documents, okay, within the public. So for the public documents, okay, it means that anyone who uses Onshape can see that document. They can search it. They can reuse it. So it means that if you have some ideas, okay, actually there are a lot of users, especially from US and Australia and Japan, they try to make use of the public documents, okay, to actually share the ideas with the community. When they design something, I do have a customer. Okay, previously they just a uh, normal free users. They build their own 3D printers, and then they share it into the public, and they want the others to actually improvise it and let them know how they can actually make it back. So they can actually make use of the public, okay, to actually share the ideas, okay, and collaborate, and then help them to make their design better. And it's for free. And the limit is actually 5 gig of total storage. 5 gig is actually a lot. You can store a lot of design within the 5 gig storage. Okay? If you need more, okay, definitely you can actually consider the professional. Okay? That is basically paid for the storage. Okay? Because we do have customers that prefer to protect their own design. Okay? They want their design to be actually stored and archived. And then after they become a paid user, what they did? 
they even upload their videos, their JPEG file, okay, their images into Ocean. Why? It's unlimited storage. Okay? And then they can actually share, okay, they can share their videos with their families, okay, by using Onship as well. Really? Okay, so that's a very cool idea. And you don't even need to download to view the video. If that is an MP4 or something, or API, you can instantly view it, okay? So let me show you, okay, I do have some uh, documents, okay, that come with some videos. So when you click on it, uh, straight away, okay, we actually come with a lot of uh, information there. So like this one, okay, this is one of the document that I would like to actually show it to all of you. Okay, this is actually one of our customer. They designed their F1 okay, car using oil chip. Okay, previously they may use some other traditional cat, but recently they changed to oil chip. Okay, because they wanted to be able to collaborate with the oil chip. So, and they actually uh, use oil chip to design this thing. Okay, they also want to share their design with everyone. So they put their some of the files, okay, some of their documents, okay, as a public document to all the users, okay, so that you can take a look. So they are willing to share their design with all of you if you sign up as an ownership user. And then you see the first page, okay, the first tab of the documents itself is a PDF file. Okay, they put in their disclaimer, okay, so you can actually use, okay, uh, they would like to share, please feel free to reuse their design, okay, and then they have the all right reserve, okay, for their own. And then the rest is about their documents, okay. So you can see, you can actually insert a lot of things, even you can import the videos, if you import the videos into here, right away you can play the video within on shared environment. So like one day maybe you design a product, you create a video, you can post it, store it, archive it. Yes. So for this one shit, right, can you do CFD and FEA? Okay, that is a very good question again. Okay, so one thing why we want to go on cloud. So when you are using traditional CAD, when you want to do CFD, when you want to do CAM, Okay, we want to do a lot of extra stuff where the cat supplier doesn't do it. So what you will do, you need to go and Google search, right? You need to find the solutions, okay? Who sell the cam in Singapore, the cam software in Singapore, who sell the CFD software in Singapore, right? And then, that's very problematic, okay? And very troublesome, okay? Right now, do you all use uh, Android or Apple? So you know there's an app store, right? So why Apple is so successful? Because of the app, right? It helps you to make your experience better. So that's why Onship also came out with this thing called App Store, okay? Basically, we're working with a lot of different kind of partners, okay? We don't build the CFD right within Onship right now, okay? We don't build the uh, camp system right within Onship, but we ask the best guy in the industry to do it for us. Okay, so we use make use of this uh, app store. So you can see there's the app store. If I go into the app store, there are a lot of different kind of solutions where users can actually find. Okay, some of them, okay, they are actually using their original uh, desktop applications. Okay, where they build a connector so that uh, OnShape can communicate with their original application. Some of them that build a cloud application, they follow our models, okay? They try to make use of the cloud. They build their application on the cloud. So you can see, we have a lot of different kind of categories. There are simulations, okay, we have rendering, so then it's So we have CAM, manufacturing, all these different kind of apps from a lot of different kind of app, uh, partners. So for the CFD that you mentioned, so we have all this, like simulation hub, they do CFD simulation, okay? And then uh, we also have this uh, sim lab, okay? So right now, simulation hub, okay? Most of them, they need to follow our model, which is the premium model, okay? Where they need to let the user to have the ability to test it for free or use it for free, okay? So 
and then you can decide whether you want to pay for their services later on. Okay? So, if you click on it, okay, it basically just decide, okay, they'll tell you what is the plan, okay, what is their plan, okay, that you can actually subscribe to it, you can actually buy the compute hours, okay? And then if some of them, maybe you ask me, when can you do rendering? I want to showcase my design, okay? So all shapes, okay, do have partners doing rendering as well, okay? And some of them is free for all you can use, okay? So we use the rendering, okay? You can see we have uh, all these different kind of solution. Keyshot, I bet uh, maybe some of you know about this product, okay? They are very powerful. So they also have their connected desktop apps, okay? That right within our partner app solution. And then we also have this newcomer, one render, the MI Genius, okay? Then the Kara IO. So all of them actually let the user to use it for free. And they give a very good result, okay, when doing the rendering. So why? Because they are making use of the power of the cloud. That is the future. If you still rely on a very powerful workstation, how much money are you going to spend? How much time are you going to actually waste to install the software? Okay. So that's sorry, why. Give me that question. Uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Uh, what format can I import or export? Okay, so um, you can actually import a lot of formats, okay, like all the neutral formats, step file, SCIS, okay, uh, uh, what is that, Solos format, okay, and then uh, STL, okay, currently you can actually import STL, but uh, to see the geometry of the STL file, I know a lot of you are concerned about STL files, so STL file definitely you can import, but uh, you can't recognize the geometry. But we do have one apps, okay, in our partner solutions, okay. So if you go to the app store, so there's one apps that allow users, okay, to import their SDL into Onshape, okay, and make it into a parametric geometry. So why SDL cannot be direct import into the cat system? A lot of people will ask. When I can open SDL in maybe some um, cat, uh, some other cat system, but those are not cat. Okay, because STL is basically a mesh file. Okay, they are not really a parametric geometry. They are not a NURBS geometry. Okay, so it's different from what we have now. We want to use the CAD, the true 3D CAD for manufacturing purposes. It need to be very precise. Okay, but the STL is not. STL is actually a slice file. Okay, it's considered as a mesh polygon file. Okay. So when you import into 3D uh, CAD system like us, SOLIDWORKS and ProE Inventors, okay, Fusion 360, they need to do some sort of conversion, okay? And the recognition, okay, might be different, okay, from different applications as well. So that's why we have this company, okay, they are actually doing this kind of things. company called Instep, okay, they actually been in this industry many many years, okay, they have a very good application, okay, way before Onshape start out, I used to use their product, okay, they have a product, desktop product, PC product, okay, it's called Instep, so I tend to use that, okay, to import my SDL file and uh, convert it into a step file and open it in solo. I'm a solo user, okay, I actually like to do a lot of 3D printing as well. Okay, so I'm making use of my previous company resources to do all the printing that I need. So this is that, okay, help the users, okay, so you see application for import and working on polygon and meshes. Okay, so that is the SDL file that you all have. Well, OBJ and, and mesh. Yeah, OBJ also can. Yeah, so OBJ is also a polygon and mesh based uh, data, okay. So uh, from here you can see, okay, so the OPJ, uh, the G, uh, VRML, okay, and then uh, STL files, okay, those are the most uh, common files that most of you handled, okay, if you are using some uh, design software like Rhino, okay, or maybe uh, 3DX, okay, so it tends to have a lot of these kind of 3D polygons or mesh files, okay, 
So that can use this, okay, the instep of the it. Okay, if you don't want to use the application here because uh, this one is actually quite a bit expensive, okay, for 30 days and uh, you need to pay 30 USD, you can actually buy their desktop version. Okay, if you actually using uh, PC or Windows based PC or anything, you can buy their desktop based version which is only 25 USD. It's a perpetual license. You, you can actually just use that and convert your SDL into step file and then you can import the step file into OnShape. Okay, what to the DWG? DWG is direct within the OnShape, okay? You can actually create 2D drawing within OnShape and then you save it as a DWG file, DXF files, okay? And then you can actually um, create all these things. Yeah. You can also import the DXF DWG file as well. Do you do also version update and how often do you do those Okay, so just now I mentioned, okay, you can see that at the bottom here, okay, this is the version 1.43, okay, so we call it 143 run, okay, split. So for OnShape, almost every three weeks we have one update, okay, and the updates, okay, can have a lot of things, okay, including fixing bugs, okay, bugs is actually a lot of bugs, okay, they're coming every day because user will tend to find a lot of bugs, okay. So we are actually try to fix a lot of bugs and not only that, we improve the performance, we having more features, okay? So when you are actually sign out as a user, okay? Try to actually use the question mark first, okay? This question mark is very helpful for new users. Why? Because you can actually access to a lot of videos, tutorials, okay? You can view those uh, tutorial videos on your iPad, on your tablet, on your PC, on your mobile. You learn how to use it. And then there's a forum, okay? So you can actually ask questions. People will respond very, very fast, okay? And then there's a keyboard shortcut, okay? And then show you some of the shortcut, okay? We didn't mention Pro, sorry about the resolution, okay? Okay, and the one big thing that I would like to highlight is the feedback. So I'm actually, the person who always contact the users, okay, that tell them, please use the feedback. I can help you, but I'm not the god. The god is actually right at Boston. They are the support, QA, and the R&D team. Okay, they are the one who built this thing. So they know the inside out, they can help you out. You can ask me questions, I can try to help you to find out the answer, okay. But now, by using the feedback, what it does, okay, when you are using the feedback, you can actually post question, you can actually report issue, you can ask for a feature that you hope on shape will come up with. Okay? So if you feel that right now today on shape doesn't fit your needs, okay, maybe it doesn't have that feature that you're longing for. Write the feedback. The more user requests for that particular feature, the faster that we actually make it happen. Okay? So remember, we are just a startup company. In three years' time, okay, to be able to achieve this with this kind of dynamic, okay, is amazing. When Solowers actually came into the market twenty years ago, when they actually came into the market, they spent three years, okay, before they really do a full commercial launch. But when they become this kind of group, okay, when they need to have this kind of community users. I can tell you right now for OnShape, we have more than 150,000 uh, users right now. Previously when Solowers is launched, okay, it took them like 7 years to achieve this number. Yeah. So right now with the help of this bunch of users, 150,000 users, we want their feedbacks. Okay? There will be more tomorrow. Okay? So I want all of you to give us feedback how to improve our team to make it into a future of the camp. Okay? You guys, okay? you guys have uh, like official beta testers? Uh, or is everyone a beta tester? Our beta is already ended. Yeah. yeah. So we ended our beta, okay, last year, December. So we start our open beta in uh, March 2015. And then it in uh, December 2015. So we have been commercial for three months time. Okay. 
And then during the beta, okay, just now I show you some customer stories, right? They're actually building their product within the beta program, okay? And within the beta period, okay, when the beta period ended, we already have 80,000 users, okay? And then they actually spend a lot of time, okay, to build their design, okay, to share their design, collaborate, okay? Especially uh, what amazes us is that half of them, okay, half of the active users, they use tablet, okay, or mobile phone to assess and build their design from mobile, from mobile, okay? If I now ask you, do you have any CAD system right now that can let you do 3D design on tablet or even on phone right now? 3D design, a real design, not a viewer. Okay, I know there are a lot of viewers that they, they claim that yeah you can open your files, okay? Yeah, there are some. You can download, you can open the files. But design, modification, instant collaboration like what I did just now. Anyone? Actually if there is, I don't think like for me as a user, I would do that also. Why? The user interface is just very weird. Like let's say like on your PC you can with your mouse. Whereas now it's like if you're using a tablet, you carry with your fingers. Yeah, okay. So, so I mean to me and this is yes. something Okay, off. definitely there are some changes. Okay, when iPhone first came out, people were saying that who will play game on it? Remember? Remember those years? Who will play game on the phone? People will play game on their PSP. Remember what is PSP? But now you see, oh, on the road, everyone is playing game on it, right? So we are just not used to a certain kind of behavior that we have been using for many years. But this is a new thing. And it's tested, okay? We do have customers, why they want it on tablet? Okay, not, not because of showing off. It's because of the mobility, okay? Especially when you are working off-site, okay, if you are actually a, maybe a certain kind of design engineer that you need to off to a site, okay, where you have limited access, okay, the space is so constrained, you can't open up a PC or, or a laptop, you need a tablet to instantly see what is the changes that need to be done, okay. We have users, okay, like just now I show you the Alabanche uh, tester guys, they bring their tablet, okay, to the mountain hill, okay, to actually find out how they can improvise it better, okay. They bring it to the site, okay, and some is actually work within like a steam room, okay, it's very uh, a machine room. The, the space is so constrained, that's why they need to have this agility, the mobility, by using a mobile. So there's internet connection in the Why not? Phone. I'm, I'm old school, I need paper, I want to see plan view, elevation, I need to see measurements. How do I do that on yours? So, measurement, definitely you can actually create 2D drawing, okay, you can create the plan view, in case that you would like to have. So, for 3D design, okay, 3D CAD system, we normally start off from 3D models, okay, and then the 3D models, then we build the 2D drawings for fabrication, okay, for fabrication purposes. How easy is it for yours? It's same, okay, it's the same, okay, like just now I have this housing, okay. So basically to create the drawings, okay, it's not that hard, okay. If we are making use of the part studio, okay, the part studio is basically a place for us to design a model. So I can create any part studios. Let's say I would like to actually design something, okay, on this. Maybe just some simple extrusion. So 
let's say I have this uh, maybe a cup or something. So to create a drawing is not that hard. Okay, basically we just create a drawing. Okay, and tell the system what kind of standard, what kind of template that we like to use. And then you can select a drawing uh, template. Sorry about the resolution. Okay. So it is exactly the same as SolidWorks. Because SolidWorks group people do it. Yes. So that's why a lot of SolidWorks users, okay, I'm not sure maybe you are ex-SolidWorks users. Yeah, okay, so you'll be very familiar with the interfaces, with the icons, okay? So I've been SOLOS users for many years. So I just joined Onshape not long ago, about a few months ago. So when I started using Onshape since last year, I only spent like maybe a few hours. Then I'm able to create a lot of models, okay, right within Onshape. As for those who doesn't have a lot of 3D uh, CAD background, Okay, just spend some time on the tutorial. Okay, step by step. Okay, definitely it's not that hard. Okay, compared to some other CAD system. On my old old days, okay, when I start learning Chloe, that's actually a very tough uh, CAD system during those days. Okay, um, when now uh, when solos they actually design solos. The one idea is they also want people to have a user, a uh, simple user interface to pick up the program. Because they want it to be run on PC. They want everyone can learn how to use the 3D CAD. So same applied to ownership. You want to carry on with that kind of spirit. You want everyone to be able to learn it. That's why we create a lot of tutorial, create a lot of videos, okay, to help the user to learn how to use ownership. Okay? We have a lot of users, okay, they don't even have any design background. Okay, they just follow the tutorials videos step by step. And they're able to learn it within month, within one month. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay? So just like when you actually learn how to use a 3D printer. Yeah. No one can instantly use a 3D printer every day. Right? Yeah, you can run the run the print buttons. But the settings, okay, by the infill, the, the settings, the parameters, okay, the feeling speed, all this, you need to find out the right way. You need to have some kind of experience, okay, so that you can find the right candidates. That's why they create the form filter. No need to thinking. <laughs> <laughs> but that is actually a template, okay, but when you do design, it's not only about a standard protocol, okay, or standard procedures, okay, that can help you to design. Because you must have some kind of um, design methodologies, okay, and then CAD is just a tool, okay, it helps you to fulfill and um, make it into a reality, okay, in a 3D virtual environment. So you just pick up and learn how to use the tools. But like you learn how to use a hand, hammer drill, you learn how to use a hammer, same thing. Okay? So you need to spend some time to learn the tools. Okay? So when you sign out as a user, okay, later I'm going to give all of you my name card. Okay? If you have any doubt, any request, so what is the first thing you do? Submit feedback. Or if you don't like the feedback, okay, contact me. Okay? Definitely I'm willing to call, uh, answer your call or reply your email okay to help all of you okay okay got a question so when once you create a drawing right and you save it or the system says for you there's two modes right one is public and one is private yeah. so for public is it like open source already or the or does it belong to on shape no okay so for private then how is it so Remember, everything okay, is actually within the server. Okay? So a lot of people will say, oh, wait, you have public and private, that is good. Okay? You can save the public, okay? you can save it as private, but everything is still inside on shared server, right? So um, does it say, okay? well, on shared actually we use my files. Okay? Definitely, we can't do that. Okay? So until now, okay? Even the support team, we don't have the direct access to your documents. Okay, those private documents. For public documents, okay, anyone can access it. Okay, so I mentioned that. Do you see that there's a public here? 
because it's an open source, okay, everyone can actually see that. So when you click on the public, okay, so you see that all these documents that come with this icon means that they are actually a public document. Okay, there are, there are tons of it, okay, so you can use the search document to search through it, okay, if you know who is the person or what is the name of the document that you would like to have. Okay? So all these things are free for you to use, okay? They have no control of it. But for those that is private, okay, so all these things that created by me myself, okay, you see without the icon, all these are private. Beside me, okay, no one can see it. Even my boss won't know I create all these things unless I share it with him. Okay? And then not only that, when you actually start create a document, you see a big create button here. When you create a new document, instantly he will ask you what is the document name, whether you want it, okay, to be a private or public document. Okay? And then you can actually own by yourself. Okay, if you are actually sign up as a free user, you won't see this uh, owned by me or owned by own shit, okay? Because uh, this one is basically only when you sign up as a paid user. You want to actually pay, uh, sign up as a paid user under a company, then you can actually have this uh, functionality as a uh, owned by company, okay? So it means that there's someone okay, that can control what kind of users okay, that can use the licenses, okay? So for owned by me, okay, means that this file is all fully owned by you, okay? So most of the time you only see this. And then you only need to decide whether you want it to be private or public. So if you actually make it as a uh, private document, okay, and now okay, you feel that this is actually a complete design, I would like to share it with the community. Okay, I want to make it public. You can do it instantly. Okay, just click it on here, and then you can actually make it into public. Or you would like to only share to a certain kind of people, okay, like just know what I did, okay, okay, because I'm not sure it's, um, do all of you know about SolidWorks, okay, but uh, I don't want to show that uh, in the first place because not all of you use SolidWorks, but we can do that, okay, basically SolidWorks there's a function called pack and go, right, so you can actually pack your assembly files or everything within a zip file, so by just import the zip file into all shapes, Okay, so you can see I have this file for zip. Okay, so basically what I did is basically uh, what I did is just import the document, select the zip file, and then after that, okay, I just uh, open it up. Okay, one shift. So you see, this is actually imported from SOLOS. Okay, it's a SOLOS SMB. So it's a very huge SMB. Okay, so that's why it took some time. So this is an SMB that previously SOLOS try to use and show their uh, what they call, call that function the speed type functions okay in their work team and then uh, try to show that okay they are actually working very well in the large assembly environment okay so I try to show you we can open and import the solos assembly directly okay into on chip other cat software uh, not at the moment okay so right now we only have the ability to direct import solos but for other software, like maybe you are mentioning uh, Inventor, Proe, okay? So all this, you can actually save it as a parasolid file or step file, import it into one shape. So a lot of users, okay? One of the things they like most about one shape is that the import is very fast, okay? Very intuitive. So uh, I can actually show you, okay, this uh, example. You can see there are a lot of sub assemblies there. Okay, all the sub assemblies is inside. Okay, so that's what we use. And you can see this is the top level of assembly. It's a very huge file where you can port in a very short time. Frame. So if you have happen to use some traditional CAD, okay, when you try to import some step files or maybe a parasolid file, normally it takes you like 15 minutes, 10 minutes or more sometimes, right? So it depends, okay, sometimes, okay, the passing, okay, remember when you insert, okay, you actually run passing one time, two time, so that is actually not happen in 
on the shed. Okay, so you can see this is the full assembly. There are a lot of uh, small components inside this uh, machine itself. Okay, so all these are actually solid making parts. And then to prove that we are able to import solid waste file, we want to just do some simple things. Okay, any other question before I run this? So let me try and report. Okay, I do have this um, parasolid files. Okay, so you see how easy it is that. Okay, I just select this parasolid file, click open. Okay, and it asks me how you want to import. I just click import. Okay, saving, uploading, importing. Okay, so it's less than a minute. Okay. So now it thinks it's that. Okay, so you can see I already import all this. Okay, there are actually seven parts. Okay, within this assembly, and then uh, on ship actually have a lot of new functionality compared to the traditional cat, especially in the assembly. We are having a different kind of assembly tools. Okay, so I really hope that for those uh, experienced uh, cat users, try to explore on ship. Okay, so what I mean a different kind of uh, assembly method is that. Traditional cat, okay, we tends to actually spend a lot of time on doing mating, right? When you want to constrain a component to the other component, normally you need to do two or three different kind of matings, right? But on shape, we can do it at one go. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Okay, so let me try to do some simple one. Okay, like right now I is I have these seven parts sub assembly. Okay, so this is basically just a table. So, in the traditional cat, okay, we need to constrain every single piece of components here. But in one shape, we don't need to do that. What I normally do is basically I just find out what is the base part. Like this is the table, I try to fix it. And this and this is actually having a related uh, static uh, relation, uh, positions okay, to each, each other. So in one shape, we have this thing called group. Okay, just like in Word's document, how you group a certain kind of items together. Okay, so when I use the group, I group two of them together. So now two of them both actually move uh, in relation to each other. But now I still have these five different components here, so I can select all of them and group all of them together. So now I have this two. But I want this to be able to rotate. So we just use a grab a loop mates, okay? So normally in traditional cat, you need to do two or three different mates to mate it. Over here, I just use a grab loop mate, okay? So I'll be able to instantly do a mate, okay? Within this two thing, for this two components. So you see now? Okay? So in solids, if you are going to do this, definitely it will take you like five to seven minutes. There are a lot of screws within here. Oh, the screws. All this icon. Okay, the screw is not showing, but right, uh, maybe it's another parasol pulse. Okay, I'm sorry about that. But if you consider you are going to include all the mates for all the screw, all these things. By using group thing is possible. Any other um, questions? Yeah. Uh, about simulation, um, I saw you have some uh, third party simulation. Yeah. Uh, we can buy the computer hour. Yeah. Will on ship have their own simulation? Uh, not in the at this future? moment. Okay, because we are we are looking into using the partner solution is because okay, we want to focus on the cap. We want to make sure this is the right platform, the on shape platform. Okay. Then how about can I export from on shape back to SolidWorks for simulation? Can. Can. Any can I export? Yes. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so that's one thing about on shape that we allow user to direct export into SolidWorks files. Okay, not other cats. They okay, like SolidWorks files. So in that case, I can import a one five file and. Output, output from uh, 11 out. 
uh, you don't need to select the version okay basically um, what we did here if let's say uh, when we export uh, you can't select the version but when you export as solid works okay most of the time you can open in solid works okay why because uh, we do have a lot of customer they are using solid works okay they say uh, my vendor actually gave me a file i'm using 2014 but the file they gave me is 2015 so now how that am i going to what, open what it we are facing. okay so use the on shape to open a file save it as a stack okay or parasolid okay or solid works connect in your solid works okay that's the main reason i use on shape yes okay yeah so we don't want you to direct change your traditional cat but we want you to start using on shape alongside with your original cat system or your existing solutions okay and try to find out how we can make this better okay so uh, okay, so what kind of product that you mean? Sorry? Plastic product. Plastic um, product. Like? Maybe a holder or anything or basic case holder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, there are a lot of makers okay, using on shape. Okay? So if you go to the public documents, you will see that there are a lot of plastic products as well. Okay? So, uh, not only that, especially I'm talking on a lot to uh, Australia and Japanese guys. Okay, they like to do a lot of this kind of making things, right? Yeah. So uh, they are building all these things by using on chain. They still use a plastic product, right? Yeah. So you can yeah. yeah. make everything you know, the molding and everything, the kind of things. Yes. Okay, so for the more um, tools and uh, components, okay, for the um, paint and all those things, okay. We do have some, I do have some example uh, on a mold, okay, so it's right within my template, okay, but I'm not going to open it, okay, if you actually take a look, okay, I do have some simple mold demo, okay, I do have uh, another complex mold demo, okay, so, uh, uh, okay, simulation for the plastic molding, injection molding is not here yet, okay, but uh, I do have some uh, partners, okay, that we are currently in the talks, okay, because we want to persuade them to use the club, okay, because right now what uh, hold back those uh, partners is that they, they want, they actually want to go into club, okay, but they also need time to learn how to go into the club, so on shape is very helpful in this end, okay, so like those are, uh, apps that you see currently most of them don't have a background on cloud so onshape actually guide them how to actually become a partners how to actually build apps okay because all their experience is basically a desktop uh, program okay it's not the application on cloud so now we are actually guiding them how to become a cloud application how to build your own cloud application with your knowledge on the engineering side okay we give you the cloud technologies okay know how to actually do this thing just like your maker community yeah okay you know textile area you want to textile area textile definitely so that's why this app so okay is very potential if you want me to talk there are a lot of things to actually talk about it okay so that's why we want to have app so because we know that the demand from users okay is never ending okay today you might need this but tomorrow you need something better or different so with an app store okay they explore okay it actually open up a wider area for everyone okay to find a better solution so there's no cat in the industry right now doing this everyone is just relying on the google and hoping that there are someone doing this okay but now we are actually asking them to become our partner join us okay we want to build something for the community so why I join on ship? I can tell you I like SolarWorks. I've been using SolarWorks 12 years. Okay, it's my life. But why I join on ship? I see the futures. Yeah. I like the idea. I, I don't believe in cloud before I join on ship. I always tell my customer, my previous customer in SolarWorks, wow, oh, is this secure? Yeah. So that's the first thing. Right, everyone have this stuff. But when I really know about OneShape, when I see the app store, blow my mind. 
This is something that I never thought about. Okay. Now, yeah, we are actually sacrifice our time on something that make that can make do with our current situations. Yeah. But it can be better. Okay, maybe it's not now, but with the feedback, with the contribution of all of you, everyone. Okay. You mentioned that your partners for the um, simulation and renderation is they don't have their cloud base, right? So they're using your computer power. No, no, they are using yes. They don't have the knowledge for how to start it. Okay. So we guide them and show them what is the right way of doing it. Because we spend a lot of effort building this cloud platform. We know how. We know what is the obstacle. Uh, because it is fine by hour by hour, how can I know how much computer power I'm going to get? Like, if I can get on my workstation, i7... Uh, okay, that's a very good question. Okay, I used to work for SolidWorks. Okay, so I do a lot of CFP analysis, okay, uh, FDA analysis. I do have a very powerful workstation. I used to have one, okay, a HP Z800 dual processors, okay. When I try to run a CFP simulation, I expect that, okay, you can finish it within two days. Based on the dialog box, okay, that's a very complicated design. It's actually uh, for a biomedical company, okay, they have this uh, very, com software, uh, very complicated design, and the uh, the gap is very tiny. That's why the CFD domain is actually having a lot of animals. So it took a very long time, two days. From the dialog box, it said two days. Based on the, the ten thousand workstation that ten thousand dollars workstation that I use, two days. So I can make two days. Thirty percent. Thirty percent. So it means I need one week to complete the whole study. Yeah. Then for, cloud, cloud. for the cloud, okay, definitely when you start run, okay, cloud is different. Why? Traditional cat, I rely on one single workstation. The computation power is only one workstation. Do you know how powerful is cloud? No, I, I understand a cloud is way better than. So when we actually use the cloud, okay, because we are actually using a data not a file based system, we actually send the solutions, okay, the requirement of parameters, okay, to the cloud uh, server. They're able to give you a very accurate data. How long we can they can solve this? Oh, so they will tell us how long to solve yes. this before we buy the. Yes. Um, Even when you do the rendering, okay. When you actually see the preview, okay, they'll show you how many seconds to run, okay, and then those are based on their computation, okay, with their farms, okay, they have uh, farms or uh, servers, okay, they're able to calculate what is the exact time, okay, that I can show you the preview, that I can show you the full final rendering, same thing. Okay, yeah, that's, that's really, yeah. Always problem with cloud, so the security, cyber security, how safe is your safe? There's always, you know, people, I don't know, because it's not safe. Okay, there's always a question. No? The safe is very safe, okay? So in a way that I can say traditional CAD system is not as safe as us. Okay, so I just tell you, if you are still using a traditional CAD or whatever software, even a Word document or what, you want it to be safe. Yeah, you want it to be 100% safe, can Okay? Don't connect to any internet. Use it within your room. No thumb drive, okay? Only you yourself can access to it. Okay, you need to set a maybe 25 character of login password to your computer. That is a full safe thing, okay? But it's still not safe. And make sure that you don't bring the computer out. Why? There's a chances that you lost the computer. Someone can hack it and actually get a hard disk, okay, to access to your cloud. Okay, but for cloud, it's very safe, but when there's something break down within the cloud, okay, like we detect that there's a server crash or anything, immediately that particular server cannot be reused anymore. We need to invest a new server, okay. So that is the first thing, and the server will be scrapped off right away. Okay, no one, if we actually find out there's any intrusion, uh, 
behavior to the server itself. Okay, that's actually a standard protocol. All the cloud uh, companies yeah. using that, even Google Drive, okay, everything, yeah. even Apple's, okay, when they use their big data cloud, uh, cloud farm, same thing. If there's any sign of intrusion, all this thing, they scrap off the server. Be it is a million dollar investment, they need to scrap it. Be it. So that is the commitment from us. That's why just now I mentioned about the 144 million venture capital. Why we need that much of money? Because this is not an easy project. Okay, it's for the whole engineering industry, for the whole maker industry. Okay. People say I can actually build this thing less than five meters. But you can build it, then after that you don't care about it, you don't develop it. But we don't want that. We want it to be a really an ongoing project to keep on improving. Okay? Any more questions? Okay, when, when I understand your questions, okay, uh, basically when you actually uh, make it back into solids, definitely it's not a complete solids original state, okay, it's just like uh, it allows you to re-import your whole assembly structures or your geometry back into the solids environment, yeah. okay. Any other questions? Special also, special on the yeah, <laughs> any kind of question, don't worry, okay, so if, let's say you don't have questions, okay, so let me give you all my name card, okay, so you all can contact me if you have any doubts in future, okay, so I'm actually stationed in Singapore, okay, you can actually find me for a talk, okay, you want to chat with me, just, yeah, just actually send an email, call me, okay.